So this week I've been reflecting about the blessings that I have been received, and especially uh, the blessing that we cannot see straight away. So the blessing we call, I'm not sure if you're familiar, like the term, uh, the blessing, uh, the blessing, in uh, the blessing, this in disguise, you know, in disguise. So we cannot see the blessing until probably a week later or two weeks later. We don't know the blessing. And I've been reflecting, especially on the first reading, we know that uh, the blessing that um, uh, Jacob, that he got the blessings from uh, his father Esau using the tricky, because uh, the first must be Esau the, the received the blessing, but uh, finally Jacob uh, received the blessing with the tricky way. And we know that uh, today also Joseph, because Joseph, uh, we know, uh, was sold by his brothers. And Joseph and even his brother never, never thought that uh, Joseph became the blessing for his brother. We know the story. And the first reading, we know that uh, the, when the famine or hunger and then Joseph's brother comes and actually Joseph become kind of the savior because they become the blessing uh, to uh, his brothers in the, in the time of difficulty, in the time of uh, problems. And when also in the gospel and Jesus uh, calling uh, his 12 disciples, Kind of there is a blessing in the midst of the confusion. So in my own life, I'm not sure about you, sometimes the blessings is not clear. It's not like all the good things. Sometimes when I myself facing difficulties, facing problems, even when I fell into sin, sometimes uh, I and my spiritual director said, oh, Vincent, do not focus on the sin that you have committed, but focus on the one who can forgive the sin, which is Jesus Christ. It's the blessing, the blessing when we seeking the mercy of God. So that's why kind of the blessing in disguise we need to find out in our lives, in the middle of, in the midst of our difficulties, in the midst of our problems, in the midst of our difficult life, problems in the families and relationship, always seeing the silver lining in the dark, huh? in the clouds. Because when in the dark, we cannot see, but in faith, we believe there's a blessing behind the problems, the final difficulties. And Jesus also calling his 12 disciples, probably disciples that why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? But finally, the answer is later on, the blessings. So, my brothers and sisters, simple message for us. In today's reading, the Lord asked us to collect the blessing or to find out the blessing in the builders of our difficult life, problems, or even sins. Because when we seek the Lord, in our lives, we will see the blessing, even though in disguise. Amen.